Rich Show. Today is all about cooking with herbs and I'm going to do a beautiful maple glazed pumpkin salad. Oh, sounds delicious. It is delicious, but I think you can do salads with pretty much anything. I make a special salad with seven types of meat in it, so it's a fantastic <laughs> salad. You'll love it. Great. Well, today I'm going to do a vegetarian salad, but I think whatever you do with your salad, Richo, yeah. herbs are what bring it together, and that's what the focus is today. So I'm going to use some beautiful chives, dill and mint. Gotcha. But again, you could use whatever's growing in the garden. Okay. Now, we are going to roast some pumpkin to start with. We've got half a beautiful pumpkin. And you're going to kindly de-seed it and yep. also show us how to properly cut a pumpkin into wedges. Okay, what I do is I just grab the seeds like this mm -hmm. and then scrape them out. And what I do is I throw these seeds in all my neighbours' houses in the front <laughs> yards so they end up with these huge pumpkin plants growing in their front yard. Well, I don't mind it because I do grow pumpkins, Richo. They are great. So, yeah, they're really easy to grow. We've got a pumpkin patch at the farm and we've got butternuts and all these pumpkins just growing, but they're so easy, so throw them over my fence. I will, I will. But one of the things when you're cutting pumpkin mm. is put the flat side down. Yes. A lot of people try and cut a pumpkin and it rocks all over yes. the place. And next thing you know, they're going to visit you at the doctor's shop with, uh, with no fingers and cuts and stuff. So if you're ever using a sharp knife and you're cutting something big like a pumpkin, which is hard, put it safe side down. Okay. Flat down and it's not going to go anywhere. Now, the other thing I look at is these little lines mm -hmm. here. I cut in there and I put the hand on top of it and then just cut all the way through. And I just sort of wedge it. And you can see it's nice and safe. Yes. I'm not going to cut my fingers. Yes. Really important and off that comes. Beautiful. Another one, just rock the knife back and forward and it goes all the way through. But you can actually remove the skin of the pumpkin and a lot of people do. Yep. But I'm going to roast it today, Richo, with the skin on because I think it adds some extra texture, some extra flavour, some extra fibre. Exactly. So I'm leaving it on. I always leave it on because it holds the whole pumpkin together. Really important. It does. Now, Beautiful. the last little bit of stringy stuff there, I'll just yes. make sure I pull that off by my hand. There Thank we go. Thank you. Beautiful. And pop them onto there. That'll go on there. Nice. One, two, three. Six slices. Is that enough for you? Perfect. That's okay. amazing. So, Richard, I'm going to toast some seeds later to put on top of our salad, but you can't really toast the ones that you've got in your hand you now. Can, you can dry them out. It's a bit of a process, but you don't want to eat them like this because they could start growing inside your belly. And I have pumpkin vines. Pumpkin yeah, exactly. I love it. My kids, they're probably thinking, Mum, that's exactly what you tell us. So let's start dressing up this pumpkin, Richo. Thank you. Maple flavoured syrup is what I'm using today. And this, Richo, is made from monk fruit. So it's a natural sweetener. I don't know how much you know about the glycemic index, but essentially something like this doesn't cause your sugar levels in your body to spike really high. That's the good stuff, isn't it? Well, we don't want it to spike really high. And that's okay. why people talk about low GI and high GI foods. So this is a really good alternative. Alternative. Alrighty, so I'm going to sprinkle this on top of the pumpkin. Is Beautiful. that the same as if you were, were using regular maple syrup? Correct, it's a one-for-one one replacement, so really easy to use but better for you. Okay. Wonderful. So let's pop a good drizzle of olive oil on there as well, please. And then we just need a little bit of pepper. No salt on there? No salt required today. Into the oven. Okay. Richo, we're going to do some toasted seeds on top of our salad as well, just to add a little bit of texture. So I've got some pumpkin seeds and some sunflower seeds. I love them. But today is all about herbs, and so I'm going to use these ones. And I am a very big lover of mint, and gotcha. I'm going to get you to please chop that. Um, and we're also going to use some dill and some chives. But, I mean, herbs are something that are so easy to grow in the garden, don't you think, Richo? They just grow like weeds they almost. They do, and mint especially. If you're going to grow it at home, I would say put it away from your other things because it takes over. So does Vietnamese mint. Oh, yes. What are you growing at the minute? I've got some rosemary, some thyme, Ooh. some olive rosemary as well. I've got some coriander coming to seed, some basil, four wow. different types of basil. Wow. Oh. I love herbs. and I, I love growing them. I go out every night and water them or... Oh. Early in the morning. So do I. Yes. Well, it's like I've got a cup of tea or a coffee and I just a hose in one hand and I just yes. spray, spray my water. It's one of my um, kind of meditative, peaceful moments of the day. And sometimes I do it once the children are in bed, Richo, if I'm being honest. Because it's mummy's little moment where I just get to just mindfully water. Go for it. Yes, pomegranate. Beautiful. It's going to add another bit of texture and juice to the salad. And I bet Love you're it. an expert in cutting these. Well, they've got particular ways of cutting them. Mm -hmm. You just sort of peel them down the outside here, around the ridges of them, yes. and then you can pull it apart. So 
can do it pretty easily. Or you can tap them with a wooden spoon, yes. but I find it makes uh, too much of a mess. So I right, find just doing this because it peels it off nice and easily. Beautiful. I am actually at home doing the tapping method and it is quite messy, so I'm please. Okay, so, nice. So it comes off really easy? Beautiful. You like that? I do. Do you want me to do this side? My hands get all dirty. Yeah, and perfect. Stained. And I'll just stand here and watch. Alrighty, Richo, these nuts need just a little bit longer to get nice and toasted and crunchy. Gotcha. You've done an amazing job with the pomegranate. I'm glad it's your hands that are dirty today and not mine, okay. for once. Chuck the quinoa in. Richo, beautiful. Right. And then you've also got there some red wine vinegar that we're just going to throw through this quinoa. I love quinoa. So good for you, high in protein and fibre. It's a wonderful little grain and my kids love it too. So it's really lovely. But this is done, Richo. So we've got our quinoa, the pumpkin's just roasting off and soon we can put this all together. Delicious. Wonderful, Richo. Let's put this together. Let's build a beautiful herby salad. Oh, look at that. Doesn't, don't the colours look fantastic? I love the little bits of pomegranate jewels all the way through. Mm. Can we flatten that yes, down I a little do. Bit? I was about to do it with my hands. I no. turned into Richo. Look at that. But this is a great festive salad as well. You've got the red and the green if you so desire. You know when you go to other people's houses and they tell you to bring a salad? You don't just need to bring an iceberg salad or potato salad. You can think outside the yes. square. Yes, 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 I agree. And I think salads are becoming such a thing that it's actually a main part of the meal now. Okay. Yeah. I'm loving it. Do you want me to put that on as well? Sure. Okay, let's just put the whole thing on. Perfect. Like this. I was thinking as I did it, it's, it's very like rigid. <laughs> it's like a pinwheel. I like that. Beautiful. Like. And a beautiful dollop of goat's cheese is going to go on because it complements the sweetness of the pumpkin and that maple flavoured syrup just beautifully. It just keeps going, this salad. It does. It? We're building it right up. And then Richo. Seeds, oh, yes, look at this. The crunchy, nutty yes. seeds that have been roasted in a pan. And you dry roasted them without any oil in Correct. them. Correct, so there was absolutely nothing great. in that pan other Pepper than the there? seeds. Correct, absolutely, go for gotcha. it. And extra virgin olive oil, just a little drizzle. Sure, if you want okay, to. I wasn't I'll... going to, but yep, go for it. Well, a tip, if you're about to serve it, put the oil on it, but if you're going to someone's house and it might be uh, an hour or so until you serve the salad... Do it later. Do it later. We'll do absolutely. It when you get there. There we go. Still, Look at this. Still there, extra virgin olive oil. So when Richard invites me round for a barbecue, this is what I'll be bringing, and he actually judges you on the plate you're holding whether or not he's going to let you in the door. But this one, what do you reckon? Okay, I'm looking at that. You know what? Mm. The herbs are there. A big heat of herbs. I love the maple flavour with the pumpkin and the goat's cheese. Lots of nuts in there. That is a cracking salad. Thank you, Richo. Winning combination. I agree.